Hi, my name is Sheree L. Smith with Laptop Magazine, and this is the Samsung Series 5 Chromebook. As you can see, it's got a nice minimal design, uh, white plastic, chrome Samsung label, nice little chrome insignia. Uh, Port-wise, we have a mini USB adapter that can be used for a VGA port, a USB 2.0 port, combination headphone and mic jack, power adapter, in the front we have a 4-in-1 card reader and on the other side we have another USB 2.0 port and a SIM, a SIM port right here. The S Series 5 is the first commercially produced notepad to run Chrome OS which is Google's web dedicated browser which means there is absolutely no desktop. On the inside of the Chromebook, we see instead of a traditional touchpad, we have a click pad, um, matte black keys, a matte screen surrounded by a glossy bezel. Uh, as you saw, the one of the great things about the Chromebook is that it launches pretty much immediately once you open it. So here in the browser, instead of a desktop, we have all our programs and apps right here. So I have TweetDeck, Picasa, Pandora, uh, Gtalk, Gmail, and Google Calendar and Google Docs. We can get more apps using Chrome, the Chrome Web Store. And as you can see, the browser pretty much resembles um, any ordinary Chrome Web browser. So here we are in the settings folder. So as you can see, here's stuff for systems. It's very sparse, so you get dating, t date and time, touchpad, uh, internet, well, users, list all your users, because the great thing about the Chromebook is you can have multiple users. They all sign in using their Google account, and they can't access the information that the main user uh, has on the Chromebook. Internet just lists all the available wireless ne networks and personal stuff, accounts, sync, passwords. So uh, one of the down one of the things we don't like about the Chromebook is the file manager. It's very it's a very rudimentary. I'm going to open it now. A very rudimentary. Uh, way to handle downloaded files. So as you can see here, uh, I have a few documents and this folder actually takes your screenshots. So here's screenshots, previews. And everything has to, everything that you download, uh, docs, PDFs, MP3s, basically have to come through here. Uh, it's the only way that the Chromebook can handles uh, handle these files and depending on what the file is you may have to download an, a web app in the Chrome store. One of the down, downfalls of the of Chrome OS is that there are some native apps that PC users cannot access such as Skype so in lieu of Skype you have to use Gtalk. Now Gtalk in itself isn't bad but as you can see we can only G access Gtalk in this small panel and you can't the only way you can move it is horizontally you cannot move it up or down <laughs> just sideways and then uh, there is also scratch pad which is another panel that you can use to take notes that will automatically update to Google Docs uh, why do you need scratch pad because scratch pad is one of the few applications on the on Chrome OS that can work without being connected to the internet. So even though we have Google Docs on here, we have Google Reader, you can't access them right now without an internet connection, which is one of the biggest sell, selling points of the Chrome OS, but we can unfortunately we cannot access it, but Google does say that they will be rolling out updates on a 6 week development cycle, so hopefully in the future that uh that property will be uh included. Ultimately, uh 
Chrome OS is great for people that really are, are really want to stay connected via web. So you can run your social networking off of here really well. You can watch YouTube fairly well. Although you, it should be noted that it can, that it can only run YouTube in 720 pixels. At 1080, it starts to skip really badly. Uh, outside of that, if you need to get any productivity work done, like Google Docs and things that are usually done with Microsoft Windows, I would just stick with a PC. You can do the work off of here, but without the, without having a desktop, it, it really kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, and here we have the Samsung Series 5 Chrome. I'm Cherie Smith for Laptop Magazine.